Hi guys, this is Karthik from Capit Simplified. I'm here to speak about how we can answer question number three for UPIM supplemental answers. The question is, let me read from my laptop. Describe your work experience, paid or unpaid, in the US or Canada, and how it contributes to your professional experience. How do we start this question? We start this question by first giving a discrete number of the number of experiences you're gonna speak about in the subsequent essay. So you can probably say, I'm going to speak about my three dental practice experiences or three shadowing experiences and cumulative dental warranting experience. So give them a discrete number to start with so that they can program their mind to, to accumulate, to assimilate the data that comes beneath it. The next thing you want to do is focus only on dentistry related experience. So they mentioned clearly work experience. So do not try to like in you know, force fit your dental warranting experience into this, unless you can really bring the connection between the warranting experience and work. Just limiting it to work experience would be great. So once you've given that discrete number and you've said that I'm going to talk about three experiences, go experience by experience. And what's very important to stay outside the pack and to make this your unique story is to anchor your answers to one common theme. This com common theme can be about finding a mentor, about appreciating diversity, about learning technology, about knowing the nuances of U US culture. So the theme must be something relevant to professionalism and professional experience. It should not be generic in terms of saying that, uh, you know, I, I embraced sympathy, I, I got gratification and satisfaction serving people. So that's not, not exactly a professional quality, correct? So speak about the qualities that you will have to exhibit as a prof dental professional eventually after DDS. Okay, now when you frame a paragraph and say, I volunteer at so-and-so place for a couple of hours, don't go into the integrity of saying what that clinic's name is or which dentist you practiced under, because that's highly irrelevant. That's anyway there on your resume. Just say in this particular state, I did this much hours and, and got this significant experience. What's more important in that paragraph is the answer to, to the question, so what? Yes, you went to this, volunteering, this uh, particular dental practice as an observership or as a dental assistant. So what? So what, what does it tell about you? Did you learn something unique? Did you change some perception about your professional experience? Did you uh, come to know something that you would now start practicing at this point onward? Did this make you aspire for a certain school in a certain way? I mean, especially UPIN. Did this change your goals? Did this give you an additional experience that you did not have exposure to before? Did you find a special mentor? Did you get some additional coaching? So talk about the so what. So after you talk about your discrete experience paragraph, go to each, each uh, paragraph, which is talking about one experience and answer the question, so what? Like we mentioned earlier, do not overstress I did so-and-so at so-and-so clinic under so-and-so person for so-so time. These details are not what they are expecting. Connect your goals back to professionalism to make the answer consistent and anchor the, anchor the answer in one common theme. If you have worked in a community dental practice and that is the work experience that you have, try to earn on the side of the professional qualities you would have got from that place, not on the service qualities that you, you would have picked up. Because the question clearly asks your professional experiences. This could be your improvement in patient interaction. This could be your appreciation for protocol. This could be your communication persuasion skills. This could be your understanding of how front office and back office works together. This could be your collaboration and teamwork. This could be your uh, you know expectations out of an insurance system. This could be how technology has become part of your, your uh, experience and how you would deliver care. This could be a different aspect of you yes, looking at how patients or highly aware patients are being counseled in the dental office and how that, that is a very essential quality. This could be your, uh, you know, your, your handholding of ethics and integrity and some kind of compliance with the stand, standard, either it's a health plan standard or it's general GXP, which is general best practice standard something of that sort. These points should be able to get your answer. This is a very easy one, but make sure 
that this does not sound like your resume is an aberration. This is unique and talks only about work experience and how it contributes to professional experiences. Thank you.